Welcome to Revit Tutorial Lesson 3 Modify wall using edit profile and modify floor using edit boundary So in this lesson we will see how to modify the wall using edit profile tool modify the wall sorry modify the floor using the edit boundary tool right so i'll select the non template press ok i'll select the drawing unit as imperial right simply i'll draw some walls i'll click the wall tool i'll give the wall height 10 feet and simply i'll draw a wall and I'll draw a metal wall I'll place some floor also floor thick wall offset I'll give offset 3 feet now finish right it's better to place the elevation to modify the wall because if you have the elevation views it's easy to modify the wall so i'll go to view i'll place the elevation elevation one elevation two elevation three and elevation four right now we'll make a opening on this wall east side wall so i'll select this wall so when you select a wall you will get a tool called edit profile click edit profile so when you click the edit profile you will get a dialog box in order to edit the sketch please open one of the following views where the sketch will be parallel to you so it's elevation 204 so you can select either this or this so i'll select this elevation and open view so it's open the elevation 2 and the selected wall will be highlighted in pink color so we are going to make an opening on this wall inside wall so there is a tool called split element here you can see split element you can click that one and for example i'll click one point here and another point here so this bottom line have been splitted into three I'll select the middle one and I'll delete it. Select the line tool, draw a line around four feet, enter. Again, decide another line, four feet, enter. Escape. I'll select the start in radius arch. This is the start point and the end point and the radius for your opening now finish you will get the opening so we will go to view 3d view default 3d view realistic so you will get the opening like this right so we will make another opening on the middle wall so it's i'll go to the plan view it's better to go to the plan view so then only you can see all the sketches easily so i'll go to the level one and I will select this middle wall and again here edit profile so again it will asking the elevate open the elevation 2 or elevation 4 and open view again I will click split element and I will click two points to split at that point I will select the modify tool to enter the selection mode board. select that one and delete it take the line tool draw a line and fit press escape another line at the side and fit enter press escape click start in radius arch start point and then point and the radius i will make it like this that's up to you. Now finish. 
so in your middle wall elevation go to the 3d view you will have like something like this okay again i will go to my level one plan view i'll select this wall edit profile click edit profile it's asked to go to the wall view elevation one or three it's mean north or south i'll go to the north view and here this time i'll draw a circle here and i draw a circle here around five inch or six inch yeah i will make it six inch and finish what happened when you finish it will make a hole on that wall here i will open it and show it to you here it will make a hole right so if you want the hole in the same linear select the wall click edit profile open the elevation north side elevation and here you will find the copy tool this is the copy tool click the copy tool select the object which you want to copy and press enter so when you press enter you will have option here multiple if you have going to copy multiple times it's better to click multiple and click the constraint if you are going to copy in the same direction so both we need here according to this i'll click i click multiple and the constraint option click a base point and move to the direction and for example every two feet i want this i will type two enter again two enter two enter two enter two enter to enter and to finish again enter now again click the tick mark and finish it and go to the 3d view we'll have something like this right so we'll make it another one i'll select, select this wall edit profile open view i'll take a line i'll draw a line approximately here around uh, i'll make it 8 inch and press escape another line to the same distance you have a tracking tool again another getting in the same thing you can use this tracking tool i'll take the chart in radius arch i'll make arch this side and this side and i'll use the copy tool press escape click the copy tool and drag and select these objects press enter click a base point and the constraint and the multiple are already take bring it to the direction type 2 enter 2 enter every 2 it you will get the shape 2 enter 2 enter again to finish again press enter now finish this stigma so you will get something like this so you know if you draw an enclosed area between the, the wall it will remove that area right. now we will see another example i will go to level 1 i will select this side wall i will go to edit profile i will open the elevation view right for example, I'll draw a circle, something like this, uh, approximately in four foot, and I'll draw a polygon, the same center point. Right. So I have here I have drawn two enclosed area within another one. So when you finish this, when what will happen? The between area will be removed. So when you draw a two enclosed area within another, the between will be removed. That is the concept you have to learn. This concept is that everywhere we have to use this is the concept here. Right. So anyway, this is not a practical thing because it's there is no support. So if you want, you can put a support to this piece. So I'll go to the level one. Then I'll select this wall edit profile 
open. I'll take the line tool. I'll draw a line to this mid. I will click pick line to make offset. Click this pick line tool. Give offset around 3 inch. Make offset this side and the downside. Take the modify tool and delete the middle line. Again same like this side also you can do or you can mirror it. These two lines here you have the mirror. Mirror you have two mirror tools one is mirror pick axis. If you have a axis you can use this tool or other mirror draw axis. So in this case we don't have axis so I am clicking mirror draw axis. Select this one and with the control key select the other one. Press enter and click the first point of the line of the mirror line and the second point of the mirror line. Now still it's not finished. When you finish it's give error because you have to think the concept it's a wall profile. So it cannot be finished it's giving a warning or error. So what we have to do click the split element click this point we have to remove these pieces because it's a wall profile you have to, it's not a right drawing something drawing lines I have to think it as a wall profile so I'll delete this one now you can finish it now go to your 3D view here now you have a support so like that we can uh, edit our walls right without changing however you want for example here edit profile I'll select this one edit profile open view I'll completely select this top line and I'll delete it using the delete key I'll take a line here and I'll draw a line something like this and finish go to your 3d view here you will have something like this Right, so you know how to edit the wall here. Select this one, edit profile, open view, delete the top line, and take arch and draw arch however you want and finish it. So likewise you can modify your walls using the edit profile tool. Right, next we see how to edit the or modify the flow. So come to the plan view. Select the floor. So when you select the floor, you will get a tool called Edit Boundary. Click the Edit Boundary. You will get the this concept. Right now, same as the other concept are same as what? Here, for example, I'll click the split element. I'll split it and select the modify tool and I'll delete it that one I will extend the floor as a arch and finish the concept is same as the wall the editing concept here you see I'll go to the plan view which means level 1 select it edit boundary just a circle I'll draw put a hole in the floor I'll draw a circle and I'll select the modifier tool and I'll make it copy select the circle enter I'll click multiple not the constraint because I'm going to copy in a different direction so don't take the constraint if you want to copy in different directions right, now we'll finish so the same concept of like a wall so I'm not going to waste time on this the concept is editing concept is same as wall but when you select the floor only I will click the <coughs> edit boundary okay so we here in this lesson you learn how to modify the wall using the edit profile tool modify the floor using the edit boundary tool
Thank you for watching lesson 3. In the next lesson, we will learn how to create levels and how to make multi-story building and how to make simple railings.